31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. So before we are about to do weather, we had our producer come into the ear and she's like, hey, Demetria, do you mind if Amber stands over at the other screen? I was like, nope, she has to be with me because today we have on the same outfit. We do. Go figure. It was <laughs> bound to happen eventually. Oh, exactly. And we both look great in it. We do. I was we hoping do. you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the new year and it is feeling kind of nice outside. It is, yeah, and it's only going to get warmer from here Ooh. as we head into next week, so I'm not complaining. I'm not either. <laughs> no complaints here. But it is going to rain tomorrow, so let's go ahead and talk about that next weather maker as we move into your Friday. Now, that will bring more rain with it, but the good news is it's not going to bring any severe weather with it, so you will need the rain gear if you do have plans, especially tomorrow evening, but after that, we do start to dry out as we head towards the week weekend. So more good news for you there. Let's go ahead and time things out for you as we head through the rest of the evening hours tonight. Cloud cover will start to build in. That's all ahead of that next weather maker that will move in tomorrow. Now here's seven o'clock on your Friday morning. We're quiet, but we are cloudy across the area and most of the morning we will stay quiet. Now we will start to pick up a few showers right around noon tomorrow afternoon and then the rain starts to fill in as we head into the evening hours. So here's five o'clock, some heavier pockets of rain possible. Then as we move towards the early overnight hours, 10 o'clock, so about the time you're headed off to bed tomorrow night, some heavier rain possible for some of us, but again, not expecting severe weather with this as we move into tomorrow night. Just some really good sleeping weather. The rain will stay with us as we head into the overnight hours, but check this out by 7 o'clock on your Saturday morning. We're dry once again. Cloud cover stays with us, but we may pick up a little sunshine as we head into Saturday afternoon. By Saturday night, clouds are out of here and the sunshine will stay with us as we head towards your Sunday. So your rain chances over the next few days, majority of them come in tomorrow. After that, rain chances will start to drop as we head into Saturday. By Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, rain chances are gone. So as far as temperatures are concerned, even with this weather maker moving in, it's really not going to cool us off all that much. We're in the upper 50s as we head into Saturday. By Sunday, we're still in the middle 50s, warm for this time of year, and mostly sunny. Now, if you think that's as warm as we'll go, well, think again. As we head towards January 7th into January 11th, your temperature your outlook looking very toasty across the south. So as we head into next week, look at these temperatures. We'll be knocking on the doorstep of 70 degrees come Wednesday and Thursday. Again, I'm not complaining. I like the warm weather, but since we are in January, we know it can only last for so long. 31 triple Doppler right now. It's quiet and dry. Nice evening to get out and enjoy. Here's that wider view across the eastern half of the United States. You see all that cloud cover off to our west. That's what will move in as we head towards tonight. Now your evening planner tonight. Temperatures falling out of the 50s down into the 40s. And that's where we'll stay for those overnight lows for most of us. 40 in Scottsboro tonight, 42 in New Hope, 41 in Huntsville, 43 down in Faultful, 44 in Florence, Russellville, and Cherokee for your overnight low. Waking up in the morning in the 40s, and we will quickly climb, but rain chances are in the forecast as we head towards the afternoon hours. 60 for your high in Huntsville, 59 in Decatur, 58 degrees over in Muscle Shoals. That 10 day forecast, not looking too bad if you like the warm weather. 60s here to stay as we head into next week. And then by the end of the 10 day forecast, we start to dip back down into those upper 50s. But I mean, overall, still very warm for this time of year. Because this time of year, during the first week of January, for the past couple of years, we've been talking about snow. Yes. So uh, I'm okay with the 60s. You're kidding me. Okay. I'm okay with the six. We'll take that. Keep them around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Amber. Mm -hmm.